I have Jeff Linder on the phone. Hi, okay. Jeff. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thanks for calling us. What's going on? Well, we, as I've been showing, we have this intense feeder band moving through the central and now the south and southeastern part of the county. Flash flood emergency for that south and southwest side of the county. Uh, the locations I'm watching very closely right now are uh, unfortunately Braze Bayou and the Meyerland area. We only have about three and a half feet at Gessner. That's the upstream gauge of Meyerland uh, before the bayou goes out of its banks. And it is rising very rapidly in the Meyerland area. We only have about uh, three and uh, 3.8 3 feet at Rice, which is in the Meyerland area. Uh, Willow Waterhole in Westbury has gone out of its bank, so we know we have flooding there. Uh, we also have flooding on Keegan's Bayou at Rourke uh, and uh, Briar Branch at Campbell. That's north of I-10 in the uh, Spring Branch area. We are seeing that channel go out of its banks also, uh, along with, as we mentioned earlier, some of the channels in the northwest part of the county. Uh, but the main focus and emphasis right now is in that southwest portion of Harris County uh, along US 59 and I-10 between the Beltway into downtown Houston where we're seeing these uh, incredible rainfall rates. We recorded a rainfall rate of 4.56 inches in one hour over Meyerland and, and there's there, there's just no drainage systems, street drainage systems that are going to be able to handle that type of rainfall rate. Uh, Jeff, do you anticipate water in homes? Uh, we probably can see some water in homes just from the sheer volume of water falling from the sky. Uh, in some of these locations, the streets are going to be filling up so much that some of the water uh, from the streets may get into the homes. Um, I'm watching Bray's very, very carefully in Meyerland. Um, if, if you're in Meyerland, you need to be, you know, paying very close attention to that bayou. If the water starts coming up in your yard, you need to start getting your stuff up. Uh, one thing I want to make clear right now is, is we are asking people, please do not not travel. Uh, if stay where you're at. If you're at home, stay in your home. Uh, if water comes into your house, you're still safest in your house. Uh, don't get out and try to drive. Don't try to walk in the water, especially at night. Stay in your house. You're safest in your house. Jeff, I don't know if you're watching our, our uh, signal right now, but we're showing 288 South at Holly Hall with driver after driver trying to get through that. Uh, I don't know if you're near a television, but what's going on there at Holly Hall in 288? Because it is flooded. Yeah, that is, that's a combination, you know, that's a depressed section, a below ground section there of 288 uh, that, that does flood. Uh, that's a combination of the, the rainfall rate and the high flows in Braze Bayou, and that is exactly what we are asking people not to do. Right. Do not drive into that water. Uh, it is not worth it. Just stop Stay where you're at. Uh, don't do what, what you're showing right now on the TV. We're asking people not to do that. But that is a combination of those rainfall rates coming down uh, and, and the bayou coming up. And that water is going to continue to get deep. You can see all the, the lightning out there in that shot. And uh, that you and I both know that that means intense rainfall rates when you get lightning in these type of bands. Jeff, it looks like at least for, say, the western part of the county that the rain has stopped. But, I mean, are we too little too late? Is Braze... Is spray sunk or is there some hope that perhaps it will stay within bank? Uh, looking at it right now, uh, we are going to be right there. Uh, and since it's still falling, you know, on the Braze Bayou watershed, uh, I, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned that uh, that we are going to have some problems on Braze, especially the, those lowest homes along Braze. You might you might have some problems. Uh, right now, at this very moment, we're not looking at a Memorial Day 15 type event on Braze Bayou uh, or, or probably even a tax day event, but uh, there could be some, some flooding on Braze from the, from the channel because uh, we don't have that much more capacity in it and the rain continues to fall. Um, on the west side, I know the rain has stopped, but we, we have a lot of rain. We've had 11 inches of rain on Little Cypress Creek in the last 24 hours, uh, and that's approaching uh, you know, a 100-year event for us in yeah. Harris County. And so we have a lot of water out there that is draining off. If you look at the radar further out, we have additional rain coming in. So just because the rain has stopped also on the western side of the county doesn't mean that the water is not going to continue to rise in some of these creeks tonight. There was some talk of, of issuing a flash flood emergency. Has that been done or did you hold off on that? 
No, the Weather Service issued the flash flood emergency uh, a little while ago for southwest Harris County, southern Harris County, eastern Fort Bend, and uh, eastern portion of Bazoria County. And uh, as you know, that flash flood emergency is the strongest wording uh, that the National Weather Service has at its disposal. Uh, and uh, that means it's a life, it's a dangerous, life threatening situation in that flash flood emergency area. So uh, we really need people to, to listen to what we're asking them to do. Uh, especially with the vehicles and driving vehicles into water. That is the the most worrying thing we have right now uh, on top of potentially water going into to homes in some areas. So uh, this is a, a kind of a multifaceted event unfolding, but, you know, this is how these events unfold here in Harris County, unfortunately. So what are you seeing tonight? Is uh, Have you talked to the Weather Service? Because we still have this feeder band from downtown going right down to 288 and then off toward Galveston County. What, what, are, what are you and, and the, the National Weather Service make of that? Well, that, we, we've been coordinating, and, and we're, we've been certainly concerned about these rainfall rates, and that's why we've we've put out the the flash flood emergency uh, wording. Uh, it, it will continue to to painfully move east. It's just painfully slow, and that's why we're having such problems. Um, but. Folks to the east, over there, Pasadena, Laporte, Shore Acres, uh, Baytown, Sheldon, uh, this is coming in your direction. And those watersheds over there, Armand Bayou, Willow Spring Bayou, uh, Little Cedar Bayou, uh, Carpenters Bayou, Hunting Bayou, they cannot handle these rainfall rates as effectively as maybe Braze Bayou or White Oak Bayou can. So the water is going to come up very quickly over there in the southeast part of, of Harris County county in, in some of those areas. So if, if you're over there, uh, you're in a flood prone area, you flooded before, uh, now is the time to be paying close attention. Um, you know, it's not to your area yet, but if you if you push this out in time, uh, you can clearly see how it's kind of moving in your direction. Are we still looking at those four inch per hour rain rates as this moves into Pasadena? Well, I, I haven't seen any indication on the radar that 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 the uh, that the intensity is apparent, you know, appearing to slow at all. So, you know, I think certainly three to four inch per, or even four and a half uh, inches per hour is certainly possible as this moves over towards Hobby Airport, Jacinto City, and then down towards uh, Friendswood, and and you know, further down towards Galveston Island. So, uh, I'm not seeing any any weakening really of the band. Um, on the radar and then the the to the west from Bay City to Sealy back toward LaGrange that looks to me like it's pretty well going to stay put as opposed to coming this way at least overnight yeah that you know that's we're starting to get down there around the center of Harvey and uh, you know we'll just have to see as that center meanders tonight uh, what may happen down there I mean you and I both know that uh, as we saw with this band this this wasn't looking anything like this four hours ago and here we are so we, we just have to pay attention to to these feeder bands uh, that may spin out spin out from that center core and come up um, you know even to areas of our west uh, overnight so um, that's why we've been asking people to just continue to be aware of, of what's going on because this is how quickly things can change. And let's make it clear, if we get another feeder band like this tomorrow, we're in real trouble. I mean, we're in real trouble now. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, that's what we've been kind of, of saying, and, and I want to give a lot of credit to the National Weather Service uh, about putting out their strongly worded statements. You know, we've, we've been forecasting this for days uh, going into it, and it's, it's almost surreal to watch it unfold right here uh, in front of us, even though you and I both knew that, that this is a real possibility. Um, but, you know, we're, we're kind of in day two of a, almost a five-day event, really, on the rainfall. And so the potential is there for additional very heavy rain uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night, Monday, and even into Tuesday. So, um, you know, just because we're having this tonight doesn't mean it's going to be over, unfortunately. And, and uh, you know, this is how you get some really big totals that we've been forecasting the last few days. Jeff, well, I just want to make our uh, viewers right. aware that they are watching KPRC Channel. Channel 2 here at 10 o'clock at night. So uh, right here in our Channel 2 News as we begin it. Uh, what, could you just reiterate what we've been talking about? A lot of people are just now tuning in to the 10 o'clock news. I have the radar up. We also have our city cams up with lots of lightning and rain. So what what's the situation right now? So 
we've been watching this this band move in from the west, and it has slowed down and intensified this evening, and it is producing anywhere from uh, two and a half to four and a half inches of rain per hour. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood emergency, which is the strongest uh, worded statement the, the National Weather Service can put out when it comes to flooding for south and southwest Harris County, eastern Fort Bend, and eastern Brazoria County. Um, and that means this is a dangerous, life-threatening event in those areas where that flash flood emergency is in place. Uh, we're watching several bayous right now. Uh, pull it up real quick here. The the ones we're keeping a very close eye on are Keegan's, the lower portion of Keegan's Bayou. It's about a foot and a half over its banks at Rourke. Uh, Willow Waterhole is over a foot over its banks, and this is in the West Berry area. And then also we're paying very close attention to Braze Bayou. It's about three feet from going out at Gessner, uh, which is upstream of Meyerland, and also about three feet from going out at Rice. So we're getting very close to reaching those flood thresholds. Also keeping an eye on Brickhouse Gully. And, Frank, I hate to cut myself off, but I've got to go. We're going to be doing a news conference here shortly. Jeff, I can't thank you enough for joining us, and we are going to take your advice, and we're going to continue to repeat it during this hour newscast. So thank right. you very much. Thank you.